Hey, Northern Dice, and today I'm going to be unboxing a copy of Bees by Awaken Realms Light and Van Ryder Games. Now, this is an incredibly light game for Awaken Realms, from what I can tell. This is Half Blind. I was sent this to review, which I'm very excited about. But ignore my voice and the lack of enthusiasm because I am full of illness, which is always lovely. From what I can tell from the outset, it is a card game about managing resources, collecting cards, and in the end having the most victory points. But I believe there's a sense of um, almost cooperation in this because of the way the cards work. Now, I don't know too much. I did a little bit of background research, of course, because I was very excited when it was offered to be reviewed and such. But I didn't want to spoil too much for myself. So let's see if I can get the lid off the box. My days, tight fit. Come on, there we go. Oh, -ho -ho. there we go. This is incredibly fitted. It's a fitted box. Still over there. Right. Okay. Straight off the back, we have got the instructions, the manual, a little bit creased in the corner, probably down to my rough handedness. So there are your components. You've got four different types of pollen, a gathering deck, a honey deck, and the advanced mode, which is the beehives. This is, from what I saw, heavily directed as a family game. So I imagine the advanced mode is the one that demonstrates more of a, um, a tactful approach. Yeah, you've got instant win conditions, so you'd be more tactfully playing, maybe not going for the points as much. So there's the victory points. The Pollen that you need to purchase it? Don't know. Oh, an action text. Okay, so the holy cards aren't as simple as set and collect. So there's a bit of depth in this, which is nice. I also like the fact that it's themed on bees. Bees are very important. I'm a big fan of bees. Although if one does fly near me, I am likely to run away like a bit of a wuss. But hey-ho. Have a look at the pollen. I just thought pollen was all yellow anyway. Okie dokie. Standardized little nuggets of pollen. Just little plastic crystals, but I like the fact that they're these instead of, um, I don't know, cardboard cutouts, for example. I think it gives it a little bit more depth within the game itself. Ooh. But also that element of um, physicality. It means that you're able to count how much you've got and there's no chance of me having to punch boards, which is always nice. That's the empty box. Nothing else in there. Slide that to one side. Let's see if we can't crack these cards open. These are much bigger than normal cards. There we go. But the artwork, just from that, is gorgeous. Right. So those are your beehive cards. Which for your advanced mode. Set this one side for a moment. And then we'll go. Bees, 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 bees. Bees, 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 bees. So these are the pollen cards. Usual artwork. It is a stunning looking game. That is very pretty. Very, very, very pretty. Okay, and the symbolism I think I can work out. Hold me off here. You get those. Everyone else gets... I want to say these, but I'm probably going to assume it's just one. So there is a cooperative element in it, but also that caution of if you take this card you know full well the next player is going to get one of these, which is going to put them in the in a good position. But it's, it's the same for all. Unless, of course, that line there means that it's all denou. Okay, let's put those to one side. There's not many of those. There's a ton of honey. Oh, honey, honey. So these are the cards that you purchase. And I don't believe you'd play with all of these because the game ends 
when all the honey have gone. But of course, otherwise you're going to be going for massive scores. Especially with all of them. So, let's have a look at one of these. Hello. Again, the artwork is gorgeous. This doesn't have much special to it though. It is just gorgeous artwork and the symbolism of what you need to purchase it. Okay, so immediately take another turn. So it's a low earner. It costs, but you get another turn after. So it could be a tactical take. Every other player may exchange one of their pollen for another one. Again, a low one. Every other player may. So you're going to be given advantages to other people. But points make prizes. I'm just, I'm just infatuated with this artwork. I think it looks stunning. Save the bees. You're not going to get games like this that are so beautifully illustrated. Discard your main pollen gems. The game even presents itself incredibly light, which makes it accessible. I don't think it's going to be one that many hardcore gamers are going to rave to play. But it's not designed to be that. Not every game has to be as heavy as... Um, think of a heavy game off the top of your head. Pick the heaviest you can think of. Gloomhaven, for example, or Kingdom Death Monster. Some of them can just be a nice, short family game. That's a bit more accessible. So, I know these are for the advanced mode. And extra points, extra points, extra points. Instant win, instant win. So I don't imagine you play with all of them because there's a risk of two people getting an instant win. But what we got? Each player gets three victory points for each five pollen in the same colour of their honey card. So is that across the honey card? So one, two, and then maybe three, four, five. Each player gets two VP. Every honey card about an action takes worth one additional. So that's worth getting those ones then. You immediately win if you have 12 or more combined pollen symbols and pollen gems of any one colour. Ooh, ho, ho, stock them up. And you immediately win if you have at least six honey cards with at least two or more honey cards and at least two more honey cards. So it'd be like tennis, two points clear. Very cool. Another really short unboxing, but I like it. I really like the look of this game. I think it looks very pretty. I think it looks very accessible. I don't think it's going to scare anybody off, but I also don't think it looks too simple that it's going to put people off. Exception, pollen gem limit. And it seems quite robust in its rules. I mean, it's not in depth and depth, but it gives you an example of a turn. Explains how everything works. Ooh, FAQ. We like a good FAQ. I did see something there. Ah, oh, this is the setup. Okay, okay. I was just thinking, I've got five beehive cards and there's more than four, but... So this is how you set the game up. Oh, cool. All right. Awesome. They've thought of everything. Very cool. Quite excited to play that later. So, that was an unboxing of Bees, The Secret Kingdom. Save the bees. I will no doubt be putting a review up of this. I am incredibly grateful for, to Awaken Realms for giving me the opportunity, but even more grateful that they've sent me in a really lovely game. Thank you, Awaken Realms Light, and thank you, Van Rider Games. And thank you for sticking around for this long. I will catch you next time. Toodaloo.